Hey guys, welcome back and I'm back with another exciting new tutorial for you guys and yes, you read it right, we are going to go ahead and create planet earth in blender in less than 10 minutes right and by the end of this video you'll be surprised as to how simple it's gonna be so yes uh, let's get right into it all right so i am in blender with my default cube here so uh for this tutorial all i'm gonna do is click on a and just delete everything and uh, let's start from scratch right so uh to go ahead and create our earth, we first need a circular object, right? So we're gonna go ahead and add an icosphere in here and I'll give it four subdivisions just to make it nice and round and right click shade smooth, right? And that's that's pretty much all we need as far as uh, object goes. Uh, so I'm just gonna pull another uh, screen here to go ahead and open my shader editor because that's where all the magic's gonna happen. So. Over here, I'll click on new for uh, a new material and let's name it earth, right? And uh, what we are going to do is we'll keep the principal BSDF because we need that and we'll do shift A and add an image texture, right? And uh, let's quickly go ahead and locate the textures that we have for earth, uh, actually. So there are image textures for earth. Uh, which I'll be uh, putting it down in the description for you guys to download. So don't worry about that. And just quickly go ahead and bring in the earth map, right? Which is basically the color of uh, earth. So I'm just gonna go into my uh, render preview mode so you guys can see it. Now it just looks weird, right? And uh, it just doesn't look like earth at all. And for that, uh, all we have to do is press Control T, but just make sure that you have the node Wrangler add-on enabled so if you don't just go to edit preferences click on add-ons and just search for node and you get your node wrangler add-on and once you uh, have that enabled you click on the image texture press ctrl t and you get these two nodes right so for these two nodes now you can see it's plugged into the uv coordinate uh, since it's a sphere we really don't have to do uv unwrap and all that thing right so you can just simply take the generated uh, coordinate here and plug it into the vector but still doesn't look right right so uh, let's just go ahead and uh, come to our image texture and right below linear can you see that there is flat here let's change this flat to sphere and once you do that it automatically aligns uh, your textures uh, like it wraps it around your uv sphere so that it looks like earth right so now we have uh, an object that looks like earth, but there's no bumps or uh, it just doesn't look right, right? So there are a few other maps that we need to add. So I'm gonna shift T to duplicate my image texture and go ahead and bring in the other maps too. So the next map that I'm gonna bring in is the earth spec. So that stands for earth specular. So I'm gonna click on that open image and I'm gonna take the color input from here and put it in the specular input of uh, our principal BSDF and just make sure that you're connecting this vector right into the vector over here, right? So, and anything that's not going into the color input should always be non-color data. So just make sure that you are uh, switching to that and then we'll go ahead and do a shift T again, uh, just to duplicate our image texture. And this time I'm gonna bring in the bump node or the bump map, right? So this is what is actually gonna go ahead and give us those bumps uh, uh, to make it a little bit more realistic. So uh, now I'll change it again to non-color data. I'll just make sure that uh, I have my vector connected to the vector. Now let's search for bump node because uh, that is what actually is gonna tell Blender where we wanna create those bumps, right? So I'll take the color and plug it into the height. Now I'll take the normal output from here and plug it into the normal of the principle be SDF. And as soon as I do that, can you see it's already giving us those pumps that we need? So this just adds uh, a little bit more to the realism, right? So, yep, once it's added, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce the strength to 0 0.25 cause it's just, it's just too much right now, which makes sense normally, but now we're looking at a planet level thing, right? So uh, it can't show up that much bump when you're looking at it at that big scale. So uh, just FYI. So once we have that, I'm just gonna go ahead and bring down my roughness a little bit lower uh, to give it a slight shine uh, where uh, it has those watery areas, right? And uh, the last 
uh, map that we want to bring in is actually an emission like it's it's going to add some light uh, and uh, just give it an effect that uh, our earth has a few places that has lights on right so there is this map here which is earth lights so i'm going to go ahead and bring that in and uh, just keep it srgb because uh, it's it's an, again a color input so we're going to take this and we'll plug it into the emission and uh, we will go ahead and make sure that the vector is connected to this one too right now there is just way too much uh, of emission going on so even if you look at it uh, in a dark environment you still see uh, some bluish effect coming in right we don't want that so to color the uh, sorry to uh, control the amount of emission that we are adding here i'm going to go to converter at and add a color ramp and just bring this black closer to the white and this white closer to the black right just to make sure that it's uh, going ahead and adding uh, limited amount of emission and not just blowing it off uh, uncontrollably. So once that is done, our Earth is basically ready. So we we have our Earth ready, uh, but it still doesn't look realistic, right? So we're going to go ahead and add some clouds to it. Now, in order to do that, I'm going to go ahead and press Shift D on my object to duplicate it and then scale it outwards a little bit, just a little bit, not a lot, right? And then we'll come here and we'll duplicate our texture and just name it clouds. Okay. And let's go ahead and delete all the textures that we have here because we're going to replace it with the other ones. So I'll again press shift A and then add another image texture. And I'll take the color input, plug it into the color input of this. And let's go ahead and search for our cloud textures, right, that I've already downloaded. And again, all these textures are going to be linked down in the description. So you guys can just simply go ahead and download them. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our clouds. Similar thing, just make sure it's a sphere and it's connected uh, to these coordinates here. And you get that, uh, uh, get those clouds wrapped around your Earth. Now let's go ahead and bring in another map here. Now this map is called Earth Cloud Trans, right? So Earth Cloud Map Trans. So it basically means it's it's for transparency. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and make the spaces where we are not supposed to have values, like these blue color spaces here, it's just gonna go ahead and make, that, make them transparent, right? So we're gonna take this color input and plug it into the alpha channel in our principal BSDF. So alpha is basically for transparency, right? So we are going to go ahead and uh, plug the vector into the vector as well. Uh, and just make sure it's a non-color data here. And once we are done with that, it's, it's still not showing anything. And that there's a reason behind that, right? Uh, so we have to go into our material properties and just make sure that we change our blend mode to alpha blend and shadow mode to alpha hashed. We check on screen space reflections, sub translucency, and also make sure that we have ambient inclusion, bloom, and screen space reflections enabled, and also the refraction uh, option enabled uh, in here, right? Now it's giving us a little bit of that effect, but uh, it's still pretty blue. Uh, and that's because uh, it's inverted. And to fix that, we're going to go ahead and add another color ramp here. And I'll just click on this drop down here and flip color ramp. And as soon as I do that, can you see? Now we have clouds. Now you can control the amount of clouds that you want in your space by just dragging this white closer to the black or black closer to the white. So if you uh, drag black closer to the white, it's going to reduce the clouds and uh, increase them uh, depending on if you transfer the white closer to the black, right? So just FYI, and you can also add another gray one. Just click on that plus sign and there's a gray one that that's added and just push it closer to the white just to make sure that your uh, clouds are slightly grayish. Yeah, uh, that's about it. You, you got your earth, you got your uh, uh, clouds now. And since you guys stick around uh, so long, uh, well, we still have time to spare, right? So I'm gonna give you a bonus tip here and uh, just show you how we can actually make space uh, it really quickly, right? But just before that, we don't have any light in our uh, render. So let's go ahead and add a sun lamp here. And uh, I'm gonna increase this sun lamp to three. 
just so that I have some light. And uh, yeah, you can just play with, uh, so this is basically gonna go ahead and give the effect of how diffuse your sun's gonna be or how, uh, how hard it's gonna be, how hard the light's gonna be. And then you can go ahead and play with the Z axis and also uh, the X axis, uh, basically to go ahead and give that effect. Uh, so you can either go this way or you can just, go ahead and try something else altogether, right? So it totally depends on you. You can just play with this rotation and just see what view you want of your earth. But that's not what we want to talk about, right? We want to know how to create space. And it's really, really simple. And I'm pretty sure you guys are going to uh, have that aha moment uh, once uh, I show you. So we're going to change our object in a shader editor to world. And uh, right over here, we have these two nodes. One is background and one is world output, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and delete the background and I'll do shift A and add an emission shader here and take this emission shader and plug it into the surface. Now it's pretty bright now and I understand and that's so, uh, don't be alarmed. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and add another color ramp in here and plug the color into the color. And also we will go ahead and add a noise texture. And this is what is actually gonna give us a lot of stars, right? So we'll take the factor of the noise input and plug it into the factor here and bring the scale up somewhere around 400, right? And it's still not looking right. So that's totally normal. Let's take the black portion of this or black uh, option and just bring it closer to the white one. So the closer you bring, uh, the lesser the stars would be and the farther you take away the uh, more the stars going to be in your scene right so i'm going to increase the emission to about 50 so that we have some noticeable stars and yeah uh there you have it uh, it's your space right and just play with uh this option here just to drag uh, drag it closer or fa farther away from your scene and uh just adjust as a how adjust it how you like it uh, but yeah, that, that's about it. That's how you create Earth. Uh, I also have uh, maps for moon as well uh, on how to create a moon and stuff. I am going to go ahead and uh, add that, those textures in the link down below as well so that you guys can just simply download them. It's the same process. I'm not going to show it to you over here, but it's, it's the same process, right? You can just follow the same steps and get the same results. But I really hope that you guys liked this video and it was helpful and it it was don't forget to drop a like and uh, subscribe to the channel because there are a lot of other uh, videos similar to this on the channel and a lot more to come as well right and if you want to know more about modifiers you can just simply click on the bottom left of your screen right now and uh, if you're interested in the abstract art well just click on the top left of your screen and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you so much for hanging out